Well, actually, this is more like two stories, really. One story about what Charlotte's affordable housing might look like for neighborhoods in the future, and one story about what it used to be like for Charlotte's long gone neighborhoods in the past. You know, it was great housing, you know, for people um, back in the day. Deatra Fullwood talks about her old front porch neighbors, these hundred year old shotgun houses across the street from her house in First Ward. It was really neat because people would still come by, you know, look at them, people that were wedding photos, just a little bit of everything. Um. A little bit of Charlotte history, also part of Deatra's history for 22 years. You know, I go back and look at some of the pictures and stuff. I guess they call shotgun houses because you could shoot a shotgun from the front door to the back door. That's from my understanding. And then they were brought over here just to sort of preserve that history of Charlotte and especially in the center city area because it, it has changed so much. One thing that hasn't changed though, that need for affordable homes where blue collar workers can afford to live near their jobs, their schools, their transportation. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, just being able to see, you know, how the center city has grown um, and to know that those houses were a part of the center city and then out with the old, in with the new. In this case, the new is a five-story affordable housing project. Coming soon, more than a hundred new homes. Which means these old homes have to go. As workers carefully lift the old shotgun houses off their foundations, you can still peek inside and see the original hardwood floors, an old church pew in front of the fireplace. The houses themselves, nothing fancy. Built to last though, small but uh, still sturdy. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Careful, but size of them ain't, ain't, ain't no problem. Yeah. They usually do They're way bigger. Being you know across the street from them for the last 22 years, you know, I knew at some point they were going to be moved. The move itself was at night. Workers shifting the shotgun houses onto big flatbed trailers, measuring the height of the house. Too tall, ain't it? Uh oh, to make sure they fit under low bridges along the way. Nailing danger signs on the back of the houses, warning drivers to keep their distance. The houses themselves wide and hanging over the side of the trailer, with Deatra Fullwood watching from her lighted front porch across the street. Right there, right there. Watching as the truck hauling the homes slowly pulls away. I was very surprised when they were actually moving them and how they pretty much like took off the roofs of all of them and then of the two and then, you know, moved them and just, just, cause I just kept thinking, oh, when they move those, they're gonna fall apart cause they've, you know, they've been around for so long. I don't know how long they date back, but they were very solid, very solid. Yep, solid houses for generations of solid working class families. Charlotte's original affordable housing, making way for Charlotte's newest affordable housing. But even these old homes can become new homes all over again in a new neighborhood. You don't see that being done in too many places. A lot of times we kind of forget history. We kind of want to move on, but. Instead of moving on, Jamal Kennard wants people moving in. To bring those homes into Lakewood, preserve that history, and also use the history of those homes to make history now together. That's very significant. Kennard is head of the Lakeview Neighborhood Alliance, where the shotgun houses are located now. Off Russell's Ferry Road, Kennard lives in a working class neighborhood, with neighbors working to make sure that their affordable housing stays affordable, and where big changes often sneak up on unsuspecting neighbors, house by house. You want to get to Lakeview before the developers get to Lakeview? Without a doubt. When you can still afford to buy that land? Without a doubt. We don't want them to get all the land. Uh, we're going to own some land and force them to build around us. That way you have a diverse community, as we say at Lakeview, with strong families. That's what we're creating here. 
Lakeview is part of the West Side Community Land Trust, which owns the property where the shotgun houses are now, raising money to buy more land and also helping neighbors get organized. To make sure that we have a seat at the table and our voices are being heard. It's like a tide. You can see it coming if you're not oh, prepared. Yes. If you don't see the wave coming, oh, man. you'll get washed away. You will get washed away most definitely. And a lot of people are not able to see the wave coming. So how does the land trust help prepare and protect a neighborhood like Lakeview? The goal of the West Side Community Land Trust is to identify land, purchase land, and keep it affordable permanently. Using the shotgun homes as the, the model to show that this is possible is using those homes as history, preserving those history, making sure people know about the significance of, of those homes while also making history now together. Do you miss your, your old neighbors, your old shotgun houses? You know, when I look over there, um, I do, I, I do, and I, I, but I just know that there is, you know, bigger and better to come. It's what's needed in the city, and so, you know, I have to be okay with that. I think it's, it's going to be a win-win for, for everyone. Now, Deatra adds that even before they knew these old shotgun houses were involved, her giving circle actually made a donation to the West Side Community Land Trust. And she says those donations are how a house with a history can become a house with a future and how that house can also become a home again. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.